Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft. And welcome back to another Minecraft video where today we are going to be playing around with Little Bits again, which allows you to interact with electronics in real life to make stuff in Minecraft happen and vice versa. Um, also, thanks again to Little Bits for providing me with the gizmos and gadgets invention set and the production support to make this video happen. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to make this, would we, Churros? He's up here. He's ready to go. Churros, can you listen to me, please? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> good, good, good. So um, we have made a real really awesome machine and I'm gonna throw up on the screen what I've got in real life as well which I have created to help Churros's machine work. Now what I'm gonna do first is show you what the machine does and then we're gonna crack this machine open and this one over here to be able to see what happens inside and what's gonna be happening in real life as well like how you set up the set and how you get everything to work. So let's get to it. Is everything set up and ready to go buddy? <laughs> good, good, good. Right so this is it's the creeper o -matic. everyone. Check it out. It's looking absolutely beautiful. I am a big fan of this right now. It's looking amazing. And we'll get over to this house in a second. But first, let's make this work. So on the screen, you will now see what's going to be happening in real life. So we have three different animals that we can spawn with this machine. The first one, obviously, is going to be the creeper. So if we just grab this right here, this little, um, this little creeper statue on this plate, and we place it on top of of this circuit, you need to keep a keen eye on what's going to happen here. Are you ready? I hope you're ready for this because this is awesome. Three, two, one, place down the creeper and... There it goes. The green light comes on to show us it's working. The creeper comes out. Look how excited Treras is. Look at him. You excited, buddy? <sighs> Oh, you're scared. Um, well, don't worry. He's not gonna hurt anyone. He's inside this very, very well-contained little chamber. So this is super awesome. You can actually use objects in real life to be able to spawn things inside Minecraft. So if I take this off, he will stay here and we can even grab him another friend if you want. Should we give him a friend, Treyaris? <sighs> Oh, come on, buddy. I'm going to do it anyway. You have no control. All you've got is the analysis software on your computer. You've got no chance. I've got the power. Here we go. And we'll plop another creeper into the creep o -matic. Oh, my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a while to kick in. But now we've got two little buddies taking a little shower inside our test tube. Now, what we can do as well is change the animals or mobs that are spawned inside this tube. So let me grab a sword real quick so I can dispose of these creepers appropriately. We just need to go into here and slam, slam, slam. Get out of here, guys. Get out of here. No exploding, please. No exploding. So I guess I should show you how this works because obviously it uses real life cloud bits to control it. Now, Treyoros doesn't really want me to explode his machine but i'm gonna expose his secrets it's not gonna be too bad buddy it's clever it's clever so all of the workings are actually underneath this platform that treoris is standing on so if i bust this open right here we reveal all of the secrets that are inside this machine it's actually very very simple and it helps that the electronics in real life are super cool as well so what we've got here is our little cloud gateway which is what talks to our little wi-fi bit down here and they communicate between the real world and minecraft as we saw in the previous video and then that outputs a redstone signal when I put this little slab on top of the circuit and then dispenses a creeper through the little dispenser down here so what we're gonna do is we are going to change this out for a cow let's grab the cow and we're gonna we're gonna spawn in cows instead of creepers because they're a little bit nicer so let's put this in here there we go switch that out oh no I'm a test subject. I'm a test subject. <laughs> That's not good. Right, let's get out of here. Come on. I don't want to be stuck in this test tube forever. And now we should see that when I put the cow slate on, you will be able to see the redstone workings. Let me just um, have a view down here. And here we go. Cow on top. And then when we wait for it to bust into action, there we go. Check it's out. The circuit outputs a redstone signal, as you can see right here, and spawns a cow. Oh, geez, we've got two. That's so cool. <laughs> we got two out of here. Oh, man, that is awesome. And then when we take out the cow, you can see that we've just got two there, and the redstone deactivates underneath this machine. How awesome is that now over to the real stuff where i'll show you how this works now overall this is actually a really simple circuit but the magic lies in this piece right here which is a light sensor so you can get it to react to either a light scenario or a dark scenario which i'll show you right now so this is the light sensor right here you put it just after the power in a little bit circuit and then we've got the cloud bit which allows the output of the light sensor to interact with minecraft like we've seen so there's two options on this there is either light or dark and then the sensor is right here where it says sensitivity right 
there. So what you can do is you can either have it react and output to a light signal. So when it's light in the room, it will output a signal to Minecraft. Or like we've got here, when the sensor is covered, the cloud bit will send out a redstone signal to Minecraft, which is super clever. So in all honesty, it does not matter what little figure you've got on this piece of little bit brick right here, because it just works off a light sensor. And then when you cover over the darkness here, you will see another cow spawn into Minecraft just like that. So how awesome is that? Now, apart from creating awesome machines like the one Travis has made in the background, we can also do a real life kind of scenario as well, because we don't want to be spawning mobs all of the time. So right here is a house that's very, very dark with only one light, but there's no way to turn it on and it's still dark in here. I don't want mobs to spawn in here. That would be awful. So what you can do is set this cloud bit up to be able to output a signal when it's dark in the real world and then Minecraft will light up. So let me just cover this up with a piece here. And the lights will come on. So if it's dark in your Minecraft world or in real life, you will be able to have lights. How cool is that? So there you go, guys. That is another awesome way for little bits to interact with your Minecraft world through the special cloud bits. And you can create really cool electronic devices in the real world and in Minecraft as well. Treyoris. We did a good job, buddy. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you want to find out more about Little Bits, which I highly suggest that you do, please do go into the description below and click that link. It'll take you and tell you all about the Little Bits product. Apart from that, if you did enjoy this video, then please do leave a big fat thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do consider subscribing to join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Apart from that, thanks again for watching, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!